Hello, human. Thank you for being on the channel. I appreciate all you humans that have been rocking with me for many years or specifically on this channel. If you're fairly new, uh, 2023, I will not be making any content. I will not be putting any content up on the channel, so I will not be able to review this movie for you when it comes out in 2023. But I am looking forward to Blue Beetle because he is one of the coolest DC characters um, Blue Beetle does have a big history in the context of the comics, as many individuals have used that as a type of mantle. Jaime Reyes being one of the newer additions and him being attached to Booster Gold is interesting. And the actor that they got to play Jaime Reyes, Blue Beetle, is the same actor who plays Miguel in the Cobra Kai series within the Karate Kid universe. He is a very good actor. He has already demonstrated that, you know, he can handle fight scenes. He's a handsome guy. He looks exactly like Jaime Reyes in the comics. So this to me is what you would call perfect casting in relation to the character. Uh, he is a Hispanic character. So you have what I call proper diversity. There's no gender or race swapping involved here, at least not with Jaime Reyes slash Blue Beetle. And I think that diversity is important, but only when it's done in a natural, organic way. You don't want to do anything to check off boxes. You just want to tell a good story and present the characters that already exist, or you make some new ones. Jaime Reyes Blue Beetle does have a decent-sized fan base, and I'm pretty sure there are certain DC fans that are looking forward to this project. I saw some set photos. And the suit looks perfect, like they snatched it right out of the comics. Uh, the guy that they got to play Blue Beetle, I don't want to butcher his name, so you know you know the guy I'm talking about. The guy they got to play Blue Beetle, he looks good in the suit. I can't wait to see what it looks like in context of the movie with all the special effects and the soundtrack and everything. It should be a visual feast, and um, I'm sure I'm going to like it. I look forward to a trailer. And I hope that you all enjoy it. Um, and I want you to know that even though I won't be posting up content come 2023, um, I will still respond to comments. So if you leave a comment, I will do my best to get to it. I try to answer all the comments, but there are so many on a regular basis. There are plenty that I miss, but it's never done on purpose. So if you get to a point to where, um, you know, Blue Beetle comes out and you watch it and you want to know my thoughts on it, you know, leave a comment somewhere and then I will let you know my thoughts in relation to that particular comment. But that's how we can do things, you know, leave your comments and I'll try to respond. But uh, DC rises, like Jody said, you know, Jody from Jody's Corner. Um, and I think this is the case. I think uh, DC is going to come out with some bangers. Hopefully over time, the divisive nature in relation to the brand disappears as everyone or most humans get on board with their upcoming projects. And we're still waiting on announcements and what James Gunn and Peter Safran have planned and all this. Right. It's just. It's going to be crazy. And um, I'm looking forward to this particular film and. uh I think humans might end up being surprised and uh, DC can do that to you when it comes to their live action animated, you name it. They have a way of surprising humans for better or for worse, but I have some good feelings and thoughts in relation to this project. So we shall see humans. Terrence out.